Never miss a game. Miles Bridges on pace to play 83 games this year due to the trade with the Phoenix Suns. His new home, the Brooklyn Nets, were hosting the Miami Heat. And boy, did Bridges have himself a game, literally a career game. Bridges, six quick, easy points early. Trust and believe he scored more than six in this one. Other end we go. It's Bam out of Bayou to Max Struess for show. And then how about Gabe Vince again to his spot and showing you that he's got a wicked jump shot. Fading away. The Heat are up by six. We're still in the second quarter, which means we get to see the former Phoenix Suns, now Brooklyn Nets, connect Bridges to Cam Johnson for three. And then on the other end, Cam's got to deal with Bam, and that's not an easy task. The all-star out of Bayou go to work. Third quarter, more bridges, filling it from beyond the range. And then let's not forget Cam Thomas did score 40 three straight games. He didn't get the 40 in this one. Got a lot of guys vying for minutes nowadays, but he did put some buckets up for the Nets. Bridges put more than just a few buckets up. He beats the third quarter buzzer, and he still got that thing going in the fourth. How about Bridges? Going right at Butler. Nets are up by six with a little over six to go. Bridges getting to his spot, working around in that Brooklyn offense, and it looked really good there. It's Miles Bridges, a career high. 45 points? Traded me for KD? Okay, we'll see how that ends up for you. Eight rebounds, five assists. The Nets defeat the Heat, 116-105. I'm going to send this one message to the Phoenix Suns. Look, nobody will ever get mad at you for acquiring Kevin Durant, but I do want to say this. Phoenix, I hope you know what you're doing because you just traded away a phenomenal young 26-year-old basketball player that's only getting better. And because I watch a lot of basketball every night of the season – Mikel had been teasing this for quite some time. Now, if you want to get into the conversations of how Money Williams' offense is constructed versus how Jock Vaughn's offense is constructed, you know, Mikel didn't get a crap ton of plays ran for him in Phoenix. He got looks, and he, you know, made the best of it. Brooklyn is just kind of free-flowing at this point right now. They don't really have an offense. They've had so much movement. It allowed for this free-flowing you know, pretty much isolation basketball, uh, get out and run type of, of offense for Jock Vaughn until he's able to kind of figure things out probably during the All-Star break. And it allowed for this incredible performance from Mikel Bridges. How about the Brooklyn Nets have had four players drop 40 this season. Now, obviously, two of those guys are no longer with the team in KD and Kyrie, but Cam Thomas and Mikel Bridges are both there. And Mikael Bridges in front of his mama, by the way, which I just think is so, so hard. That's hard right there. Drops a 45 piece. This dude is for real. And I don't know if his final destination is going to be Brooklyn. But I will say this. There is a reason why the report out there is the Memphis Grizzlies offered four first round picks for Mikael. I don't know what happens this offseason. But if Mikael Bridges is available, if Brooklyn doesn't see him as the face or one of the faces of their franchise. If they trade him to a team that's pretty much ready to go and ready to win, just needing like one of those pieces, Bridges will be one of the hottest names on the market. This dude is a phenomenal player. I've been a fan of Mikael Bridges for years. One of my closest friends didn't like his game, but uh, I think he's coming around now. He don't got no choice because Mikael Bridges continues to elevate, elevate, elevate. Them years around Chris Paul and Devin Booker did him some good. So he didn't take in his NBA young boy on the road. Uh, the the Mikael Bridges show for now has landed in Brooklyn.